Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we're doing an unboxing of this iMars solar powered higher pressure monitoring kit. In this unboxing, we're going to pull this all apart, show you all the specs, what it comes with, and put this thing to the test. Let's get started. So this was sent to us by banggood.com. Uh, they sent this on over to give this thing a test. So let's go ahead and pull this apart. As we do so here, first thing that we notice comes with instructions. Has some hardware, the actual brain itself. Now this is the solar panel because we don't necessarily have to plug this in. We can through the micro USB. We have some double sided tape. And then further back here, we have our tire pressure monitors. Obviously one for each tire. Now right off the bat, some of the features that this kit advertises. First and foremost, because it has this solar panel, it does offer it off of solar power. Now if you're in an area where you may not get direct sunlight all the time, you can connect it through USB uh, for charging there. Now this has six alarm modes. These alarms will notify you if there's a fast leak, if there's a slow leak, um, if you're tire is over inflated or under inflated um, it has a high temperature pressure alarm as well and it has a sensor fault and battery fault low power alarm as well up here in the front has a digital LCD screen this will display real real-time pressure and temperature now the sensors here um, they're all indicated a B C and D sensor here they are um, usable between 22 and 87 psi okay so um, we're in the the garage here so we're not going to get much sunlight so i hooked a micro usb that i plugged into the wall socket here so we can get this booted up for the first time we haven't paired our sensors yet so it's reading zeros all the way around um, and it's also charging the internal battery which is pretty cool so what we're going to do is going to go ahead and get these four sensors installed Okay, so we're back at the bencher after installing each of the sensors for each tire. Um, we are also conscientious of what sensor went to which tire so it could properly correspond with the readout. Now, as we've turned ours on, it automatically paired and it's showing us our pressure for each one of our tires. Um, again, if, if you notice that as you put these on one by one with this on, and let's say you install it on the front left tire, the display shows up on the bottom corner or another tire besides the one that you have on, you have it installed in the wrong place. So I would suggest as you install your sensors, do it one by one with this on so you can know you have the right sensor in the right location. Now, as you get started here and get this powered on, we do have quite a bit of battery and it's picking up the light from up above. It has the light indicator. If we were to cover that, it automatically dims for us so it's not too bright at night, which is fortunate, and it will rely on that internal battery power. If we take this off, it'll notice that there is light there and it automatically gets brighter. Now, we've already set our sensor up based on our location. Since we're here in the US, we operate on uh, PSI and on Fahrenheit. Now, if you need bar and Celsius, you can go in. Basically on top here, you have buttons. You have a menu button and left and right. So if we hold our menu button to set this up initially, it's gonna ask us a couple of things. So it's gonna ask us, do you want it in PSI or do you want it in bar? And keep ours in PSI next. It's gonna say, do you wanna keep it in Fahrenheit or go to Celsius? Keep ours in Fahrenheit. We'll hit menu again. Now pressure up and PD or pressure down. This is gonna set your max pressure and your minimum pressure because if your tire pressure falls outside of this range, it will sound the alarm built within the system here. So we're gonna set ours about 39 and low we'll do about 27. No, um, this is your uh, pressure temperature. So if you want the max temperature as 159 and the min as zero, you can adjust that as well. After you get everything set up, hold menu again. It's gonna go back to our main screen. Again, showing our battery indicator and our solar is working as well. So from this point, you can see each of our tire pressures. 
Um, sensors are working and it's showing the appropriate pressure for each tire and the temperature. We just went on a drive and uh, so the front tire is maybe a little bit warmer than the rear tire just because the front brakes usually do most of the braking for you. And so you'll see that temperature just a hair higher. Like I said, here on the instructions, it goes through everything that we've covered today, what everything means. If you wanna pick one up yourself, we'll have a link in the description with all the information and uh, a link directly to the website. Thanks again to um, banggood.com for sending this on over. We're excited to um, put some miles on the car with these sensors installed and get it everything fine tuned. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.